Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Chairman. Take too long. Uh, I think we're all aware that prescription drug prices are skyrocketing and that they've been doing that for quite some time now. Um, I personally listen to heartbreaking stories from my constituents who are skipping medications uh, simply because they cannot afford uh, to take them the time, the number of times that they've been su subscribed. And that can be uh, a very dangerous scenario and one that's probably uh, all too familiar. Um, these bills that we're now considering are aimed at lowering prescription drug prices by addressing some of the gamesmanship that occurs in the patent process. That's not to say that companies that invest billions of dollars in research and development of a new drug shouldn't have exclusivity when they bring those drugs to market, but it shouldn't be in perpetuity. Authorized generics are prescription drugs that are often produced in conjunction with branded prescription drugs. They have the same chemical composition as branded drugs, but are offered as a, you know, at a generic price, so it's much more affordable uh, to consumers. Um, authorized generics play an important role in helping to keep the price of prescription drugs affordable. What we must consider, uh, particularly with legislation like H.R. 2891, is the effect that these bills collectively might have on all generics, including those which are authorized. Um, I applaud the work of uh, Chairman Nadler on this legislation, and I hope that we can continue to work together in a bipartisan manner on additional legislation which will help lower prescription drug prices. And I want to uh, commend really many members on both sides of the aisle for working uh, together on, on a number of pieces of legislation today. And with that, I yield back.